continuing on to chapter 9, section 9, whatever you want to call it. Uh, one moment, just one moment. I'm a little cold, so I'm going to wrap a blankie around my legs. Getting comfy. Let us continue with Section 9, Transforming Vagabond. Was it Transforming? I felt like it was a different title. I thought it was like Ghastly Vagabond. Oh, well, whatever. Archers. I have Lancer. Do I have other Lancers? I do not. How oh, well, Jean will suffice. Jean will suffice. man voice acting. Yeah, evils get bond up, not damage up. So, the berserker of Shinjuku is gone. At the risk of sounding a bit cliched, it seems we've finally reached the beginning of the end. I've checked my calculations countless times. They appear correct. Time continues to flow, pulling at a single point. Now then, I believe Assassin was next. The Berserker of Shinjuku is gone. Or rather, I killed him. I know. I also know how you ran away with your tail between your legs. Oh, uh, wow. Word travels fast. Then, you also know why I did that. Of course, Assassin told you to. I don't get it. Why risk the danger of getting close to them? Assassin may be chivalrous, but he's also very much a phantom spirit. A man like that who always pretends to be someone he's not will never become a heroic spirit. So, he cannot resist the temptation to observe heroes up close and personal, in order to determine if they are worth his transforming into them or not. It's too risky. If you ask me, it's like handing your head over to the enemy. <laughs> it is indeed risky. He's, it's also glorious and arrogant. He takes everything from his targets and tramples it, as if to relieve the gloom he felt while alive. However, his pr process is entirely too unclear. Assassin has decided to kill the Chaldean Master. But when? How? Even I don't know. With his innate chivalry and doppelganger nature mixed together, perhaps not even he understands his own thoughts. A man like him who could, and would, kill someone he's talking to at any possible moment is a monster. He's become an irredeemable psychotic killer. So, he's like an evil sentient time bomb that could go off at any moment, eh? Hmm, he would hate to be interrupted. Let's wait and see how this plays out. I have my own things I must look into. Wow, I'm surprised you haven't already turned over every stone there is. There's a new variable to consider, one that steadfastly defies quantification and predictability. Emiya, why don't you go take a walk around Shinjuku and see how Shakespeare's craft is coming along, hmm? According to my calculations, the King Lear monster should soon be complete. King Lear, huh? 
What an interesting choice. I wonder what sort of monster a crazed old man like him will turn into here in Shinjuku. Alright, I'll go take a look. Now then, it should be about time to make your entrance. You can hide, but traces of your presence remain. You could have erased them if you'd put your mind to it, but since you let them be, you're clearly choosing to make yourself known. My rival. My sworn enemy. My bane. I've waited for this moment for what feels like eternity. The League of Phantom Fiends. The Barrel. Me. The Phantom Spirits. All of it was to set the stage for your entrance, Sherlock Holmes. Sherlock Holmes. Aha. So this is the roost you mentioned. It rather reeks of hamburgers, does it not? Hmm. I see I'm not very welcome here. I suppose I can't blame you given what I look like. If you don't like it, Assassin, you're free to leave. Or to return to your spirit form. Joan, you should leave regardless, and return to your spirit form while you're at it. <laughs> now, now. The important thing is that we managed to defeat the Berserker of Shinjuku. I think this calls for a celebratory toast. No thanks, I'm beat. I just want to rest. I need to take care of my Curacer altar. The rest of you can figure out what to do for yourselves. I'm a miner. I can't drink. I see. Well, we certainly wouldn't want to break the law, would we? If you like, I would be glad to join you for a drink. Aha! I knew you'd come through, Hassan. Would you like a beer? Low malt beer? Whiskey? Whis whiskey would be grand. In that case, I believe I shall have a beer. Or rather, a cheap low malt beer from a no-name brewery. <laughs> I can't say it's delicious, but it's not terrible either. It's perfectly middle of the road. What an odd thing to focus on. All right, Hassan, bottoms up. <laughs> you are too kind. And just like that. Ah, that hits the spot. I love being fifty. I love being fifty-ish. Ah. You're doing great, Master. I hope you know that. Mm. You know you shouldn't take your youth for granted. Uh, before you know it, your back will hurt all the time. Your eyes will be tired, and you'll have just no energy. So you know what I said then? That's right, society's a real criminal here. I said, that, that's what makes this broken system in the first place, I said. So I swept it all under the rug and made off with more than half his estate. I really pulled a fast one on him. <laughs> I'm the best. Uh, I'm feeling sleeper. I did not know that servants could get drunk. If we want to, yes. How strange, he seems like just a harmless old man when intoxicated. You all know what sort of man this Archer of Shinjuku is. You're gonna tell us he's our enemy, right? We already know that. 
He claims to have amnesia. You don't actually believe something so absurd, do you? Eh, it doesn't matter either way. I see. How gracious of you. I must say, Master, you are a most admirable man. You not only prevented the incineration of humanity, you even came here to resolve this small singularity. I wouldn't say it's that small. What with the giant gun being made to blow up the world, you know? Oh, but it is. For that matter, Shinjuku itself is not even worthy of being saved. Shinjuku in 1999 was a perfectly ordinary city full of squalor and fever, just like any other city. If humanity had been completely incinerated, then this distortion would have been would ha also have the same meaning. But you've already taken care of that. As such, this distortion will appear on its own one day. Even if the Holy Grail were used, this hell wouldn't last a month. That may be, but the incineration was only just averted. Everything could still fall apart starting here. Especially when we still don't know who we're up against or what they want. The destruction of this planet. Huh? Hassan. I've heard about it before. What the League of Phantom Fiends wants is utter devastation. To smash apart this entire planet. Come now, you're just making up nonsense. There's no way that could actually happen. I agree, but the fact remains that that is their objective. The Count of Monte Cristo. That secret vengeance said the same thing. Uh huh. No, no, it's still nonsense. Even at full power, a top servant's noble phantasm almost certainly couldn't break an entire planet apart. And even if an anti-planet noble phantasm existed on paper, it wouldn't be enough to destroy this one. Shh. Please, be quiet. Hassan? It seems that someone is skulking around this building. Would you mind investigating it, Lady Mash? Uh, okay. I'm sorry, but I can't seem to find anything. Mash checks the perimeter at regular intervals. If there were anything suspicious out there, we'd know. So they have concealment, concealed their presence. This may be an assassin at work. Let's go take a look, Master. Got it. Oh, the rest of you, please stay put. The two of us shall go out first. Not suspicious at all. How, how strange. There's no one here. Ooh, I thought as much. Thank goodness. Nonetheless, this accomplishes what I set out to do. Dot dot dot. Nothing to say, hmm? Perhaps you already understand what's going on. Hold it. Who are you? Hassan? Trust is something accumulated over time. Anyone who would trust a stranger unconditionally is nothing but a fool. First, they must observe the other person carefully and overcome numerous hardships together. Then, and only then, can two people be bonded as true friends and comrades. Now, Master, let me ask you, am I one such person? Oh no! His spirit origin values! Master, get out of there! That's not Hassan! Nope, sorry. <laughs> What's your deal? You're hilarious! I was going to kill you, but I changed my mind. This will be a lot more fun with a hostage. Who are you? Who are you? Did you just transform? No, it was nothing like that. You were Hassan. You had his voice, his demeanor, even Shaitan's arm. There's only so far shapeshifting can go. You were more like... Hmm? 
More like what, Da Vinci? More like his shadow, you say? A doppelganger. Hey, you got it. I might look chivalrous, I might even be chivalrous, but on the inside... Nah, I can't go around telling you. Anyway, I'm gonna hold on to Master here for a while. No! Interesting. Yeah, real interesting. Ah, the beautiful duo. So you did figure out it was me. You know, I figured you had my number all along, but I just couldn't resist the surprise reveal. <laughs> Sorry about that. If you don't get your nasty ass breath out of my master's face, I'm gonna burn you alive. Oh, very nice. That's truly beautiful murderous intent in your eyes. As a thrill-seeking gentleman, this is just the kind of excitement I crave. But, also speaking as a gentleman, it'd be rude as, it'd be rude and stuff to fight here. So, on that note, I'll be waiting with your dear master for you to join us elsewhere. You're not going anywhere! <laughs> you might not believe it, but I'm faster than I look. Go ahead. Try and catch me if you can. Come on, Ice Bitch Queen. Do something. Silence, Mad Dog. I'll take care of Sarah Alter. Try to keep up with us. Uh, don't gotta tell me twice. So what about the drunk old fart? Who cares? <sighs> that cheeky bitch. Whoa, oh, looks like Artoria Alter's catching up quick. Guess I'll have to buy some time. Hornets! You know what? This looks like it'll be a pretty good show! Arturia! What? I got orders for you! Very well. Then give me your orders, Master. Knowing you, I'm certain you can assess the situation calmly no matter the circumstances. Here come the Hornets! <laughs> also, of course, the Fujo crowd would go crazy for that assassin. Shirtless, hot guy with a nice face and tattoos. Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Antonis, I would suggest just uh, playing the game and seeing for yourself. Love 
The Jolter's Dragon Attack buff actually coming handy? Yes! It will! Oh yeah, I got I got the voice relatively close to what Shinjuku Assassin's voice is. So he does have a voice that fits his appearance. Bueno. Ah, yes. I know what this fight is. All right, archers. Do I have any evil archers? Evil archers. Hmm, hmm. Atalanta counts as evil? Really? Really? I find that surprising. Huh. Fortunately, she's not leveled up right now, so instead we'll take... We'll move Ibaraki over. Well, you know, when you got someone who's all about saving the kids... Doesn't seem like the evilest of, uh, uh, of servants, you know what I mean? Do it all for the kids. All right, this'll be fine. Probably. Yeah, MHX Alter is evil. You know what? Let's let's level her up. While I'm here. Take a quick break from the story to throw experience at this girl. Feed her. She's hungry. Ah, right, I have to do it like this on NA. I'm mostly free to play. I've spent money on the guaranteed gotcha, but that's it. <laughs> So when we leveled her, she said, uh, uh, since I'm still growing, if I eat properly, I'll probably get bigger. She can get th thicker. I think that's a bit much. We might get a super suck, so we'll do that. No super suck for me. Feels bad, man. I need more XP. Let's grab from the coffers. Let us raid my my safe. Only takes 75 at a time. That's unfortunate.
育ち盛りですからしっかり Yeah, songs aren't gonna play today, Akito. Just, just as a heads up. Mudani Ugokias Kunari Masta. Bye. Jamo Kigate Yudisko. Um, she said something along the lines of it, it, it's. Easier now to make useless moves. Yay! Now, can I change? Go change already? The answer is no, because that's the right outfit to keep her in. Why? Keep her in those spats. So that. Couple more. So that is a good. Damn it. Give me a super suck. So that. It's see your high art since yours will be stuck at 60 for a while, yeah. Sorry for this quick break in the action to level stuff up, by the way, chat. The altar reactor has been strengthened, I think. It takes a lot of XP to level up a servant from, uh... My friends, this is full. Can you get a slot? Probably not. Unless there's someone who hasn't been playing for a while. I don't kick anyone off my friends list unless they haven't been active for a long time. You jealous of my night medals? Yeah, I farmed a lot. Here, give me these. Actually, I don't think I can fit those. Yeah, I can't fit those. Mada mite iku kai? Kekko. Irashai. Yeah, all I ask for people that are on my friends list is just to not stop playing the game for long periods of time. As long as you're playing the game, I'm happy so to have you. But uh, right now, I pretty much have a friends list full of people that play the game. Yeah, Dirt Wizard, I have so many Night Metals and uh, Dragon Teeth because... There was a lottery event where they were one of the prizes, and I farmed many boxes. Much farming was done. So that's just to the point where I don't think I'll ever have to ever worry about night medals again. Never ever. このバトルドレス装備を見せるのは複雑な気持ちです。力が溢れて、しっかり繋ぎ止めてください、マスターさん。Huh. I don't know exactly what she said. 
But yeah, she's she's most certainly a uh, she's most certainly a Sith Lord now. She said something about her power being overflowing and to please stay near her. I need more XP. More XP. Luckily, all this XP that I'm spending right now is fine because I don't have any interest in rolling for really anything until the Triple C event comes and then Melt will become mine. Put her in her wedding dress. No greats, no supers so far. So that now her power is maximum. この送信に宿る力のすべてあなたに委ねます。私の怒りとなり、喜びとなってください。死が二人を分かつまで。Oh my god, she ended with till death do us part. We're married now, chat. Apparently she has married us together. I'll have to buy lots and lots and lots of rice to feed her. Boy, I'm gonna run out of uh, XP here at this rate. She's hungry for that XP. You mean Japanese sweet? She has expensive tastes? Look, no matter what, rice is delicious. Can't, you can't say bad things about the taste of rice. Anyone would be happy to have a bowl of rice. So that's... That's your casual, you know, 20 minute break from doing the stuff, the event to level up. Right? Every no problem. I really wish you could put in more than 20 at a time. Speaking like Benny Enma, she's right. A bird after my own heart.
And that's why I had to roll for her in Japan after I played a little bit of the event and, and, and saw her a little more. Here, you're basically a saber. Have some saber XP. Now let's uh, grab some foes for you. Do I have any in here? No, all right. It's fine, I got plenty in the box. Plenty of foes in the box. Feed her the doggos. Eventually, the hold and drag to select things will come out, and then everyone will be happy. And they never went through the five slots. No. Luckily, we got that bit of uh, niceties added for us. All right, now that we have done with our little distraction of leveling from one to 90, uh, we should probably level her skills up too before we continue. Oh, I'm being silly. Why didn't I grail her? Because grails are precious, and uh, I don't know if I want to grail her yet. I have decisions to make. Grails are very important decisions. Oh, right. I forgot. She starts with shitty instinct before she gets a strengthening. Right, 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 right. How long until the strengthening comes, chat? Because uh, she needs it pretty desperately. Not too long, second anniversary. Oh, that still, still feels like it's a long way away. Her strengthening, for those that don't know, is going to change the instinct skill from just increasing stars to also increasing her quick card performance. As of now, she's going to be pretty oh, underwhelming because of the lack of it. But that doesn't mean I'm not going to use her. One year later, SpongeBob mean, hey man, I'm sorry. I didn't expect to be doing this for so long, but here we are. We're feeding, feeding the Artoria. Which is why it's taking so long. Artoria is always hungry. I have so many fangs still? Of course, I farmed, I farmed a lot. I've had the time to farm a lot. My count's been going since NA started, or close to it. Okay, now that we are done with our little sidetracking of making our tour, making Mysterious Heroine X Alter big and strong, we can put her into her best ascension form and continue with. Shinjuku, sorry for the, the the minor thing. Hmm. 
This ends now. <laughs> I can't believe you were able to give orders under these circumstances. You're really something. My hat's off to you, no joke. In fact, this is just too much fun to stop here. And look, here comes Shakespeare's monsters, ready at last. Go on, show these guys what you got. Shakespeare's monsters? I'm detecting magical energy approaching you at high speeds. It appears to be a Spriggan. Oh, just what we needed. Huh? Hang on, that's not a Spriggan. It's clearly based on one, but the design is different. That's... Aha! It looks like the first one out is King Lear. Huh? King Lear? As in Shakespeare's play? The very same. All right, your majesty, why don't you go and sock that o sad old lunatic a good one? That thing is no King Lear. Kana Moon? What's Kana Moon doing here? ああ、もう帰りたい。妻の連中だな。他にやることないの All right, chat, let's see it. Let us see the damage. Little disappointing, gonna gonna admit. Uh oh. He's critting himself up pretty hard here. Oh. The big foot. Such a big foot. The most gachi base enemy out there? I don't know. I think there's more gachi base enemies out there. Ow, the crits. Ow, the crits. Well, I guess we'll just have to dodge, won't we? Oh. 
Oh man. My banana oni. Not my banana oni. <laughs> Gotta admit, chat, a little disappointed with MHX Alter's damage right now. Makes me feel sad. It'll be fine. She gets buffed eventually, and that's all that matters. Hi. I love how fast she swings the saber. Yes, just MP5 her and uh, uh, Grailer to 100. Easy. Bond levels. Man, that fight would have been a lot easier if I wasn't using nothing but evil servants, but hey, it's fine. Excalibur Morgan! Yeah, that's probably a good solution. Got him. Well, yes. But you push yourself too hard to take him down quickly. Now you're exhausted. So? You're a fool if you think I would lose to a miserable outlaw like... Man, that was an ever better, even better show than I'd hoped. Oh, but I think it's time for the curtain call now. Master! Well... I'm pretty high in the air. <laughs> Adios, amigos. And bye-bye, everyone at Caldia. The signal is being jammed. Master, please, be safe. Bash. Well, chat, and just like that, we are imprisoned. See, look, the great prison break. Mash or Mashu? Both. It's Mashu if you have a Japanese accent. It's Mash if you just speak English. Because in Japanese, there is no mere shh. But there uh, uh, is Shu, for example. Matthew? Come on, Kahneman. Come on. Don't do this. Don't do these things. Well, with that, we have been kidnapped by the enemy. 
Brought to prison. Will we be able to escape? Let's find out together. We could even take an unknown servant with us. But really, the, the correct answer is just take what we still got. Okay, so the way I'm going to order it is like this, I think? Or no, Ibaraki's fine with that, actually. Yeah, yeah, it's fine like this. Think Da Vinci would have given a parachute for ray shifting by now? Yeah, that would probably be smart. Oh, whoops. A message? Ah, that damned archer. I can't believe he put Master in danger just to draw me out. No, that's not it. He already had an idea of what I of who I am. In which case, he's already deduced my true name, and from that, my identity. I don't like taking center stage myself, even less if he's my opponent. At any rate, I suppose I'll go alleviate Master's concerns. Morning, sunshine! Where am I? I bet you're wondering where you are right now. This is the Barrel, the headquarters of the League of Phantom Fiends. Uh-oh. Don't worry, I'm pretty sure you're not hurt. You'll end up a lot more than hurt if you try to escape, though. Anyway, the truth is I just brought you here on a lark. Sorry in advance if the boss kills you. Your boss? Yep, our boss. The embodiment of evil itself. The real archer of Shinjuku. Archer, you're not the same person, are you? That is correct. I am evil, and he is good. Thanks to the Holy Grail's power, we, no, I, managed to tear out all that was good and kind in me. Such things would only be a hindrance in my battle against my rival. However, I did not expect such detritus would gain a consciousness of its own in the process. Let alone that it would run off and attempt to impede us. Of course, he was little more than a minor pest scurrying around until you showed up. Now, the Berserker of Shinjuku has been, has been defeated, and the rider shows no sign of returning. Nonetheless, we still have two servants at our disposal. The plan will proceed without issue. The plan to destroy the planet? So you do know. It is just as you imagine. Our goal is nothing less than the complete and total annihilation of this planet. Do you think it impossible? I assure you it is well within my capability. I firmly believe that and do so, and so do those words follow me. And so do those who follow me. Goddamn. Chat, reading is hard sometimes. The world will end in the year 1999. What was once fanciful nonsense will become harsh reality. Why would you do something like this? Ah, yes, my motive. Hmm. I suppose it's because I'm a, math a mathematician. I've calculated the power needed to destroy the planet. So why wouldn't I want to test my equation to see if I was correct? I see you're having trouble accepting my reason. I suppose I can't blame you. But this is simply what it is to be a mathematician. I'm proud to be evil and despise those who defy me. But... I would prefer Kaldia not interfere. If I killed you, they'd just send another master. So, let's make a deal, Thor. 
I shall send you back to Caldia. In return, Caldia leaves us alone. Yeah, I can't do that. Perhaps you're right. However, I believe a genius of Leonardo da Vinci's caliber should soon realize just what the destruction of the planet truly signifies. At any rate, feel free to take your time and think it over. There's no re reason to kill you anytime soon. Damn! Talk about having the devil's own luck! You're a hell of a guy, you know that? Anyway, you just sit tight for a while, alright? I know, why don't you keep him company? He's the kind of guy who goes nuts without someone around anyway. He'll be happy to talk to you. Oh, oh yeah. Why, if it isn't the wonderful master of Caldia. It's me, William Shakespeare. It has been quite some time, no? What's with those chains? I'm told they're specifically designed to hold servants. As a caster, there's little I can do about them. The truth is, when they captured me, they spent the whole day torturing me. Sweet are the uses of adversity, my foot. Ah, it's horrible. Oh yeah, Shakespeare's totally telling the truth there. Uh, he only agreed to make King Lear's for us recently, after he was tortured. <laughs> I'm just glad I could be of service, you piece of shit. Hmm, how about I torture you even more pe painfully next time and make you a, uh, hmm. How about Macbeth? That guy was immortal, right? Great, can't wait to get started. Ah, <sighs> a fine mess this is. At any rate, I'm surprised to see you here. So how can we escape? Unfortunately, as you can see, I'm not in much of a position to be of any assistance in that regard. While you may not be similarly restrained, as a human, I'm afraid it would be too difficult for you too. There are many hornets patrolling the grounds, along with the multitude of King Lears I've been forced to create. At least I've finally just about run out of sentences praising or decrying the latter. Ah, I'm so sorry, Sir Thor. If only I hadn't written so many historical masterpieces. Well, glad to see you're still you, the Shakespeare. Hmm? I must say I'm curious why you were gazing me at me so fondly, but I'm glad to see you in good health. Still, from what little I have heard, it was quite the foolish escapade. You're being captured and all. Oh, I'm not being critical of you, Sir Thor. I'm, I'm talking about the Archer of Shinjuku. It would be foolish to believe he didn't have at least some idea of the Assassin of Shinjuku's ability. But in that case, why, would he be why wouldn't he be wary of Hassan after he appeared out of nowhere? Yeah, that is strange, isn't it? Well then, why don't we look at this from a new angle, yes? As a detective might. If it makes no sense for him to have believed that Hassan who was who he claimed, then perhaps he was aware of his true identity all along. At first glance, this would appear to be a betrayal on his part. I mean, there's no need for that. True, nor has he made a move since your abduction. Hmm, I don't suppose he entrusted anything to you? Say, a letter? You're doing great, master. I hope you know that. Slap, slap. Huh, guess he did. Excellent. Then let us see what he had to say. Hmm. Don't worry, your life is not in danger. Help is sure to come. When it does, they'll explain everything. My deepest apologies for frightening you. That's all it says. So he may not have betrayed you, but there are still many questions remaining. Perhaps I can answer them. Who goes there? 
My name is Edmond Dantes. Some call me the Count of Monte Cristo. The Count of Monte Cristo? Keep your voice low, Thor. The Archer of Shinjuku sent me to help you. Or rather, he set me up so that I'd have no choice. At any rate, we need to hurry. Shakespeare, I wish I could rescue you too, but I'm afraid I'll have to leave you behind. Ah, oh, what a tragedy. Though I do understand your position. But... No, no, it's quite alright. I may be subjected to more torture, but I doubt they'll kill me for a while yet. Right. Right now, your safety is of the utmost importance. Sir Thor, worry not about me, but do come rescue me later when you can. I know. Good luck, Shakespeare. And to you! It seems we've been found out. Hurry, Master. And don't worry. This security is a mere trifle for me. Uh-oh. Here comes a King Lear. Shakespeare, why did you have to go and write these things into existence? Sorry, Master, but I'm afraid I'm not at my best right now. I hope you can figure a way out of this. I think we can deal with this just fine. It's just a single little spriggin. Hey Zebra, what's up? Going to sleep soon? You think you're allowed to sleep after you've made your presence known? Just close the stream easy, but can you even bring yourself to do such a thing? To close the stream on your old buddy Thor? It's Faco, so yeah, wow, rude. Even though it's actually not fake go, but it's Star Wars. I mean, look, it's Star Wars. Didn't you see the lightsaber? Well, I can't deny Ibaraki her ability to buster, buster, buster this turn. Talk to the hand. Oh, my banana oni! How 
dare you? There will be hell to pay. Yay! Revenge! Remember, chat, revenge is a dish serve best served with a lightsaber. Nuzlocke fake go when? When someone wants to donate me an infinite amount of money. So probably never. <sighs> looks like our looks like our escape was a success. Oh, but don't try to contact Caldia just yet. The enemy is likely using the signal to track us. So I think it's better if I continue to jam it for the time being. Can I ask you something, Mr. Dantes? What is it, Master? You're not the Count of Monte Cristo. Remarkable! You're absolutely correct. I'm not the proud vengeance seeker at all. And believe me, I was well aware of it during that battle. But how did you figure it out? He hates being called Edmond Dantes. Now I see. I knew I couldn't fool you for long, Master. I went to a bit of effort to change my speech patterns, you see. I wondered if I might have been giving too much away. But even so, you did well to notice. Good show. All right, let's dispense with this disguise then, shall we? I believe this is the first time we've met since Camelot, Mr. Thor. Hey, what's up, Holmes? Pity your well-read friend Miss Kyrie Light isn't here to join us, but I suppose there's nothing for it now. How did you get here? Good question. Let me start from the beginning. Do you remember when we met at the Atlas Institute? Yes, it appears you do. Well, there is a reason I continued to race shift from London to Camelot to Shinjuku. You didn't need my help to restore humanity. I suppose I could have offered advice, but so could others. But the same was not true for the incident that would happen afterwards. At the Atlas Institute, I was trying to find out if one thing in particular was possible. Whether or not a singularity could occur after humanity had been completely restored. Huh? It turns out that such a thing was very possible indeed. Trihermes warned that if humanity were to move from being incinerate to being instored, this distorted history would end up creating enormous remnants. Specifically, remnants, remnants of numerous powers that could have threatened the entire world, but were wiped out by history playing out correctly. To date, the counterforce, or perhaps something else, has worked to restore or dispose of these remnants before they could pose a threat. But, when humanity moves towards restoration, their power returns from the cracks of history. They're almost like hidden malware that tries to infect your computer when you go to reboot it. Anyway, Trihermes calculated that if a new remnant were to occur, it would be here in 1999 Shinjuku. I still don't know why, but there is one strong possibility. What's that? No, I'd better not say anything until I know for certain. Now, now, don't give me that look. Watson used to give me the exact same look. At any rate, this is why I'm here. Now, what say we keep going, Mr. Thor?
Man, Chad, it really fits that we're palling around with Holmes. You know why? The W my name stands for Watson. <gasps> I'm Watson. Oh. The secrets have been revealed. Oh yes, I still have to tell you the most important thing of all. I'm not completely confident that I've laid bare all the mysteries Shinjuku hides. <laughs> Words fail you, I see. Indeed, ordinarily, I would never divulge a theory that I was still in the middle of formulating. Doing so could cause you all the to make errant predictions, potentially leading to grave mistakes. However, there's an exception to every rule, and this case is one such exception. Blip, 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 words are hard. One such exception. The reason is simple. His fingerprints are all over it. Threads that should lead to him becoming tangled and twisted, eventually ensnaring you into a trap. And before you know it, he has you in his grasp, just where he wants you. However, there's only so much one can see by observing a spider's nest from above. And if one takes too long to investigate, the wind could blow away the evidence like so much sand. Thus, I have chosen to leap into the spider's web headfirst. Perhaps that's what he wanted all along, for me to take the stage. Hmm, I imagine if Miss Kyrie Light were here, she would be screaming right about now. At any rate, let me tell you exactly who we, are, who we are up against. My nemesis, a demonic mastermind who disappears without a trace of evidence. He and his subordinates spin threads, each of which leads to a spider lying in wait. In order to reach him, I had to evade every one of these threads, sometimes disguising myself entirely. However, I soon learned that even this wasn't enough to find evidence that could convict him. In time, I began referring to him as the Napoleon of Crime. But his real name is James Moriarty. He and the Archer of Shinjuku who first bonded with you when you first arrived here are one and the same. What a twist! That is why I hesitated to reveal myself. Moriarty would never side with good in virtue. It must be some sort of plot. Regardless, I knew my presence would only endanger you. The moment I arrived in Shinjuku, I could sense that he was here. As such, there is little doubt that he is similarly aware of me. Given how weak the good Moriarty spirit origin is, I didn't think the same would apply to him, however, it seems that over the course of deducing his true name, he's managed to sniff out my presence. That being the case, there's no point in pretending to be the Count of Monte Cristo. And now that I've removed my disguise, the game is well and truly afoot. No longer am I a spectator, I am a participant. Which means that it is now only a matter of time before Moriarty and I face each other. In truth, I did all I could to remove any mention of him in Watson's writings. In part, that was because, well, if possible, I wished to fight him on my own. But the other part is that I instructed Watson to write about him as little as was possible. In terms of pure strength, there are surely countless servants who surpass him. No doubt there are also many who exceed him in charisma, especially those from the Age of Gods. But when it comes to evil charisma, devising fiendish plans that are carried out without requiring him to lift a finger, he's in a class of his own. Indeed, I feared what effect Moriarty might have on the world, and thus I asked Watson to depict him as simply and austerely as, po austerely as possible. Now, here is the real problem. Moriarty claims to have split into good and bad personas. The bad one took the power and the true name and expelled the good one from his domain. 
However, as I see it, this just doesn't add up. After all, I had sensed almost no traces of good from him. And yet the archer of Shinjuku who protected you was sincere in his actions. When he saved you from the fearsome rider of Shinjuku, he did so with no regard for his own life. Nor did it seem like he did so because he had some scheme in mind that would guarantee his survival. Sheer dumb luck was the only reason that he survived. When I realized that, I was utterly at a loss. So Archer is Moriarty. I thought that he might be an imposter, but that doesn't seem to be the case, which leaves us with a problem. He really is a good Moriarty. It's almost like one of those protagonists suffering from amnesia. This really is a problem. I'd never believed such a person could even exist in this world. Still, while your life may not be in danger, I can say I approve of the way he let you get abducted. Or I can't approve. I can't say I approve of the way he let you get abducted. Why that little? Well, of course he let us get abducted. You remember the letter you got? You have every right to be angry. Good or not, that part of him is still very much Moriarty. If he calculates a gambit will be safe, then he'll go through with it no matter how risky it may actually be. Now then, I advise you not to try and hide anything from him. Feel free to tell him all about this talk. I know you're concerned, but don't worry. He already knows everything that's happened. He knew you would get kidnapped, meet his other self, and that I would rescue you. He even knew that his true name would be revealed afterwards, along with the doubts that I still harbor. Naturally, he's never met me in person, but he is certain nonetheless. Even if he doesn't know his true name, he'll have sufficient information to deduce it. That is something Moriarty would never fail to do. In that sense, we're very much alike. At any rate, once everyone is here, I have something else to tell you. Exactly what destroying the world really means. I say, you there. Uh, me? Yes, you. Oh, what a lovely face you have. I dare say your complexion is marvelous. You're the very picture of health. You must be highly nutritious. Mm. Mm -hmm. Uh, what? Now, should I go with rare or well done? Oh, I can never decide. <laughs> steak! Steak! The wealthy like me are meant to eat fine steaks. Commoners are supposed to eat swine. One of my stature can't eat swine. That would mean you healthy people are more affluent than me. <laughs> I see someone's at the end of their rope. Why is everyone here like this? <sighs> there have been severe food shortages here ever since Shinjuku fell into this state. Of course, now there is one source of food that remains in abundance. After all, most good people here are dead and gone. Those that remain are either spellcasters or killers. So on that note, Mr. Thor... I hope I can count on your help. Fortunately, these should be easier than that King Lear. Of course, there are also a lot more of them. Hey, thank you very much, Elfo Vedo and Yoi Karuki for the follows. Welcome to the stream. Glad to have you here, and I hope you enjoy the show. Hi. Wait, a lot more of them? There's only three enemies. Did you lie to me, game? Let's murder this guy. Oh, 
and his friend. Oh my, oh my, one more. Shinderu. Nani? Nice crit. Nice critical. I had better stack up, stock up on weapons soon. I believe he should be around here. Uh, hi, Ekamasa san. Uh, what she said there is uh, it's time to replenish my sugar. So her, so hurry up! I need, I need some snacks. She wants snacks. Ah, uh, what are you looking at, punk? Ah, there you are. I see you're just as bad as disguising yourself as ever. How do you always see through it? It doesn't matter how much you change your appearance if your gait remains the same. Ruffians, police officers, Yakuza, each has their own distinct way of walking. Mr. Thor, allow me to introduce you. This is Mr. Kaburagi. He runs a general store here in Shinjuku. He has everything from demonic beast corpses to guns that'll even work on race. Uh, Mr. Dante's here is one of my best customers. It's always a pleasure to see him. Huh. You should try to sound a little more earnest when you lie. <laughs> I see what's going on. Today I'm here with someone who seems like they'd make a good hostage, so you were hoping to abduct them in order to threaten me. Isn't that right? Wait, what? Ah, <laughs> I can't put anything past you. Well, now that you've seen through it, I won't give you any trouble. Good. Now I'll take 20 of the usual, please. You got it. Uh, by the way, Mr. Dantes, I got a question for you. And what might that be? Do you think the end is almost here? Huh. Yes, it, w it may well be. But that doesn't change what needs to be done, does it? You still have to collect, sort, and sell your wares. It may not be a proud profession. At times, you may have to sully your hands. But so what? What's there to be afraid of? You should be proud, Mr. Kaburagi. Just do what you need to do. Uh, keep that in mind. By the way, I also have some new demonic beasts in if you fancy that. They could make great pets. They're very friendly and not a bit picky when it comes to food. No thanks. Uh, what about you, young man? Interested in a nice demonic beast? Foe's all I need, thanks. Did my ears deceive me? You say you already have a demonic beast for a pet? What sort of beast? Is it the kind that would kill a dreamy-eyed cast on sight? Ha! Yes. Give me a demonic beast. Thanks for waiting! Hey, you're you! Yes, we'll soon be meeting up with the others after all. I believe her hideout was somewhere around here. Ah, there we go. Alright, shall we go get lectured? L lectured? But of course, Mr. Thor. I'm afraid that those two will be absolutely livid after spending the evening worrying so much about you. <laughs> I see you now understand the situation we're in. Come then, let us be off. We're gonna get lectured chat.
True name revealed. James Moriarty. Well, chat. My dear viewers, it would ex it would seem that <clears throat> it would seem that uh, Holmes was the mastermind behind our defense of the singularity, I suppose. Invasion of the Singularity, whatever it may be, all along, pretending to be Dante's. The big hint, I like the way that this has been written, is that everything that has been a plot twist has been hinted at. It, it, it's very much coming off as a detective novel, if you've ever read one. There's always hints about what the... Uh, there's always, always hints about what the actual truth is by the end of the story. And they've done it very well. So the hint about about Avenger not being da Dante's actually is the fact that he hates being called Dante's. He, he would call himself an Avenger instead. Um, the hint about Moriarty's existence is his constant talking about Holmes and references to him. And the fact that he thinks that a detective is the most loathsome profession of all. What hints will we be seeing in the future about our other mysterious uh, uh, assassin out there? And how will we be able to invade and attack a incredibly fortified position, which seems to be what is uh, uh, set up for the the archer that we must defeat. We'll have to find out next time. Cause we're A, we're out of AP, and B, it's been uh nine hours already, and my throat is starting to get a little sore. So we're gonna leave it off on a cliffhanger. Also, how will that scolding be? Man, I wonder how we're gonna get scolded. Perhaps they'll Perhaps they'll have to tie us down and step on us for a night. That would be awful. Anyway, thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this nine hours of this. We'll be doing more of this on the next stream. So, yeah, we'll be finishing off Shinjuku next stream. So, thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys next time. Have a great day or night or whatever time it is for you. And thanks for the follows and the support and all that stuff. I really appreciate it. Good night, everybody.